Hi, today we're gonna do an uh, oil filter change and an air filter change on this Honda VFR 750F. It's a 1994 model. Uh, I've had this bike for a little less than a year now and to be honest, uh, I checked the oil when I bought it. It had a right level, it had the, the correct color, but I didn't change it and I didn't change the air uh, filter either. And I think it's time to do that. Um, I didn't find any reference material uh, in video format on YouTube. Uh, so I thought I'll make a video of me doing this. Never done it before. Um, maybe somebody else has some uh, use for it. I have the service manual for this type of bike. Um, and we're, that's my cat. And we're going to try and uh, do this together. So bear with me. First thing I'm going to try is to replace the air filter. The air filter is in the air filter box. It's below this fuel tank. Um, to access it, you have to remove individual parts. Um, you have to remove, of course, the body seat cover, uh, the seat itself. Those two are super easy. Then you have to remove the whole rear fairing to access it. I don't know if it's 100% necessary, it's what the service manual recommends, so I'm going to do it. I think there's a bolt below uh, the fuel tank to uh, unscrew that, you have to remove this fairing. So we're going to do that. The next step is to remove the fuel tank, disconnect the fuel lines, uh, disconnect the uh, fuel meter, you have to close the, uh, the tap, and then you should be able to access the airbox. I don't really worry about Torx spec. I don't know if this has Torx spec. Uh, these are just hand tighten them. Should be enough. Now, there are only the bosses and grommets left, but uh, it's a tricky system and I don't want to break them. I'm going to see if I can get a, a little bit of a close-up for you guys. There's no way to access that. It's, I don't just want to pull on it. I'm afraid to break it, but I don't think I have a choice. Ah, there it goes. All right. Okay, just pull on it hard. That's it. I should be able to lift the whole back fairing off. Just have to disconnect the cable. Let's see where here. I'm going to show you guys real quick. It's in the white connector. I think this wire normally is supposed to go over here and then you can pull it out but it goes through here so I'm gonna disconnect these I think you could also uh, keep this in here and connect these three it will be the same result
<laughs> it's loose. Before we start disassembling the fuel tank, it's uh, critical that you uh, close the tap. So the fuel lever has to be shut off. And um, it's located, I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna shine some light in there. Below here, so uh, I'm just gonna turn this. Oh, it's a pretty tight uh, space, but it snaps right to the off position. All right, the first step is to disconnect the fuel level sensor, just a connector. That's one. Next is the bolt. That should be it. This cable, or no, it's not a cable, it's a, it's a line, this line and that line. So a smaller and a bigger one that's held down by two little clamps. coming. Yep, it's loose. All right, the bigger one. Let's see if that's gonna give me a hard time. Oh, it's tight. Tight squeeze. Oh. All right, that's loose. And that's loose too. So, I think there's only one step remaining. We're on the left side of the bike. It's the same kind of clamp on this line. Yep, I need again. <coughs> and we're back. Um, can't get it off. It's on there so tight. Uh, I'm afraid if I pull any harder, I'm gonna tear the line so um, I thought there is a I think it's a little fuel filter here held down by a clamp so I think if I remove this here I get the same result so I'm just gonna do something different than the manual says I don't know if it's wise but hey you gotta improvise sometimes I think it's a 26 year old bike and this one Ah, it's stuck in here as well. Let's see, but we can reach it a lot better. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get it off. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know if this is. fuel line so not too much and not too long but just a little bit to soften up the Come on, come on you son of a bitch. It's almost there, he wants to. Whoa. All right, so residual fuel, it's nothing too concerning. Ah. 
Well, well, that was the hardest step so far to get the damn fuel line out. You have to pull it back. Pull it back, and then it should come up. Well, there is a bus inside of the hole where the bolts go. If it slides a millimeter, the, the fuel tank won't come up. So I use a screwdriver to put it back in place. And now, Finally, it should be loose. It's full, it's not the, the lightest. Let's try to do this without damage, damaging it. Why did I fill it up? Yep. There it is. I think it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Lift them up. And we should be good to go. I don't know if you have to do these diagonally. I don't think so, but I'll do them anyway. I didn't look in the service manual, but I don't think it's any other way. And if I'm wrong, uh, we'll do it again. Hello. There are a lot of little nice nooks and crannies for bolts and screws to fall into, so I'm gonna be a little careful. I hope they are all the same size. It should be. It's just lift off. And to be honest, the <laughs> it looks pretty good. It looks actually it looks brand new. I don't know if it was necessary, so previous owner, thank you. It's a good name. I ordered a new one, so I'm gonna put the new one in anyway. But that looks, it looks, uh, well, it looks pretty clean. It's, uh, I think I should, could have kept this one. Uh, what do you guys think? Good that I replace it or overkill? All right, in the next part, you're gonna see me put in the new one and um, we'll tackle the oil and oil filter will drain the old oil and replace it um, at this point in time i think i'm gonna first reassemble the rear of the bike so that's put together um, with the new air filter in fuel tank on all lines connected check everything put the lever on before i tackle the Oil filter. It's down there. I think I have to remove the side fairing and the bottom fairing on both sides. Then drop that out, remove the oil, uh, tap out the oil, old oil. But that's for next time. So uh, until now, thank you for watching and see you guys. Bye.